types of pianos are commonly used, the upright piano and the grand piano. However, back at the end of the 18th century, when the first pianos were produced, the common models were quite different. Referring to their ancestors, the rectangularly shaped square piano and the grand piano were modelled after respectively the clavichord and the harpsichord. It was only by the second half of the 19th century, when instruments became larger and heavier, that the upright piano gradually replaced the square piano in Europe. It took even half a century longer in the USA. This beautiful ebony polished and hand painted art case square piano was built by Steinway and Sons in New York in 1869. An era where the production of their square pianos was most successful, overshadowing all other models. Steinway and Sons built some of the finest instruments in history and this truly is a unique example of Steinway's square piano at its best. Contrary to what one might think, it was the square piano and not the concert brand which enabled Steinway & Sons to develop its prestigious brand as well as its business success since 1853. This new model square piano was already equipped with a cast iron frame and crossed strings, resulting in a top-notch instrument. Having been awarded by various juries at many exhibitions worldwide, the square piano enabled Steinway & Sons to establish the worldwide recognition it still has today. By the end of the 19th century, square pianos became old-fashioned instruments, completely neglected by their owners. Maintenance and restoration were no more of interest, and the instruments moved to attics or cellars in decayed castles and mansions. Nowadays, thoroughly restored and well-playing square pianos are becoming extremely rare. This 1869 Steinway & Sons square piano number 20232 is undeniably an extremely rare and valuable specimen. Driven by passion and out of respect of the heritage of this instrument, the owner has decided to save this true piece of art and resuscitate its musical life. The authentic restoration of a unique keyboard instrument requires historical knowledge and long-time experience from an instrument manufacturer. In order to preserve the authenticity of the instrument, it is most important that all different lacking parts are handmade and that all 19th century techniques applied during the restoration process are truly genuine. These particular skills have been researched and developed for over more than 80 years in the Krismane workshop. Before starting the restoration process, the current condition of the instrument is analysed and documented by pictures, measurements and drawings. Missing and ulteriorly added parts are inventorised. Then, the piano is completely disassembled until a solid base is found on which the reconstruction can get started. Each part has been meticulously reconditioned before being put back. The soundboard is the determinating element in this process, since it gives projection and colour to the sound. Therefore, and instead of replacing the mostly cracked and bent soundboard, a well-grounded restoration is key. In order to preserve the authentic sound, stringing is an important issue. Research and knowledge are required to determine the correct strings. Wrapped around bass strings should be manufactured in the workshop, since they are not available commercially. Apart from the sound, 
every pianist is relying on a fluent, responsive and reliable action. Essential to the quality is the in-house manufacturing of missing and broken parts. The precise adjustment and regulation of every mechanical element proves to be a true feat. Finally, the piece of furniture needs to be refurbished as well. Ancient techniques such as natural gluing and French polishing need to be applied. A full restoration of rare historical pianos requires specific research, knowledge and talent. The Grismane workshop, specialized in these restorations, consists of a loyal, extremely committed team of craftsmen trained and managed by Chris Mahner and his son Frederick. They see it as a true honor to restore the grandeur, beauty and elegance of rare and iconic instruments of the past and to hand over this legacy to the next generations.